One of the best things that happened to me was the sport of bodybuilding. Because in order for me to compete at the highest level, I had to know everything about training and the way it impacted each body part. Years later, as a personal trainer, those tools became very handy for me because I could teach and show clients how to do each exercise with perfect form and technique. So let's get started. Albert Einstein once said, real knowledge is through experience. That didn't make too much sense to me until I was in the business of personal training for about 36 or 37 years. As it relates to a personal trainer, that is the gold standard. In other words, a personal trainer should know about the three training components that are the most critical for changing the body in the most efficient way. What you're about to see in this upcoming video is a powerlifting routine that is very specific to our training objective. So let's get started. Get it done. I think it's really important when you're developing a routine for a power lifter is being real specific to a training objective. This is where a lot of people mess up. Look, the, the, the specific goal in this power lifting meet is for her to lift as much weight for one rep. There are three different exercises that, that she'll be, or three different lifts. Uh, there's a squat, there's a deadlift, and there's a bench press. But all the same, it's about lifting as much weight as possible. Now, what's really important about this is that because it's, uh, this, this exercise, like many others, doesn't seem to be a very difficult exercise, however it is, it's very technical. And the thing that the body needs and the mind needs is to do the same thing each time when, when she goes up to that bar. You gotta train the body exactly like you're gonna compete in the event. John, are you ready? Yeah. 15 seconds, here we go. Down and up. Here we go. Oh. Good. Two. Down and up. Go. Finish it. Boom. There you go. Good job. Easy. Easy. One of the biggest mistakes that uh, athletes make when they do this exercise is they don't train specifically for the uh, competition and they don't train in a full range of motion. Yeah, You'll notice better, that better. when she is squatting, she is burying her, her rear end down as low as possible. And what that does, that actually makes you, you're stronger at that point because you're engaging what's known as the Golgi tendon. And think of the Golgi tendon like a shock absorber in a car. You actually have less injuries in, when you're squatting if you squat deep as opposed to squatting down uh, halfway. Okay, well, this is the third set? Okay. So every time you approach this bar, John V, you approach it the same way, okay? You put it in the same spot on your back. Any little changes like that is going to change the way you perform. Very important. Okay? Okay. Last set of three reps. Here we go. Yep. yep, good, here we go. Up, two, one more, just like that, come on. Up, good, 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 good. Here we go. Something else that's really important uh, when you're squatting heavy is to remember that you need to let air out a little bit 
as you're squatting. In other words, the most important thing is that you don't hold your breath throughout that whole movement. Uh, for those of you who can't see this uh, because of the angle that we're taking, Jonavi, as she's going down, takes a big breath because that makes you stronger at the bottom. But as she's coming up, even if it's a little bit of air that's coming out, that keeps your from getting that uh, cranial pressure, which could be a little bit dangerous. So again, take a big breath when you're going down to do the exercise, and as you come up, let it out slowly, very slowly, it'll be fine. Anytime, just a little bit of air out will keep you safe. Two reps, here we go. Here we go, set four. Down and up, come on. Up. Good, one more, just like that. Up. Good, there you go. Excellent. The other thing that we're uh, doing is, okay, John of is gonna use the belt at some point, but we don't use the belt until we have to. Uh, a belt is a, think of it as a performance enhancement tool. It helps you do more weight, just like wrapping your knees does too. But we don't do that in the beginning of these, uh, in the movements here. As she's getting up towards the, the point where she's now needing that little extra oomph, we're gonna go ahead and put a belt on her, but not in the beginning. So two reps, Zonzi. Two reps, okay. The progression now is from three reps to two reps. Again, the, the main goal is to lift as much as weight as possible in the event for one rep. We're at two reps now? Two reps. All right, here we go. Down and up, explode, okay? Explode. Up. Yep. There you go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Here we go. Up. Get out. Up, up. There okay. you go. Nice Good job. Good job. Just like that. Good. So we're gonna go one more set of two, then we'll add a little Doing bit more Doing the weight. exercise obviously is the most important thing, but the other thing that can make you uh, very successful in your lift is actually what you're doing in between the set. It's about recovery. You're only as good as your recovery. So when you're sitting down and resting, and you're not only are you thinking about what the next, your next uh, movement's gonna look like and feel like, but when you're there relaxing, breathe in through your nose instead of your mouth, because when you breathe in through your nose, it gets into the cell much faster, and it helps you recover much quicker. You belt it up? Yeah. Okay. We got one more set of two, and then we're gonna go three sets of one, okay? Okay, now the belt comes on. We're starting to get some, some heavier weight. She's getting further into the routine. She's starting to fatigue a little now bit. Now you're ready, okay? We have to access all the resources. First, the mind. like the last set, down and up, two reps, here we go. Get up, there, there you go. go. Breathe, breathe, do it again. Get up, 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 up. there you Good. go, Good job. Good, perfect. For the purpose of today's shoot, normally what we do is we do as many, uh, the training sessions should not last any more than 25 minutes because if you do that, you're not going to overtrain the system, okay? So the idea and our strategy behind this is to do as many sets that we can in a 25 minute training session. And the idea is to continue to improve on that quality, okay? So for the sake of shooting this video today, we're not going to do all 15 sets. We're going to shoot eight sets, but we're, we're trying to give you a, a good idea in real time what a training session would look like. Where are we at now? About ready whenever. No, two, still two reps? One rep. Okay, here we go. Doing singles now. One rep. This is the part where we're getting now very specific now to the event. One rep. You approach the bar the same way each time. You got to be meticulous about this, okay? You have to approach that bar the same way. You got to put that bar on your back the same way every single time. That's what a, a trainer's job is go. to do. One rep. Here we go. Down and up, Johnny. Let's go. Up, up. Get up. There. Up. Good. 
Nice. There you go. Easy. The strategy that that we're actually using uh, with John Jonavi is again the Bulgarians. I went back to Bulgaria in the late '80s, and I actually watched these these athletes train. And this is where I learned how to be really specific to a goal. And that's the reason why we don't do any more than uh, two or three reps uh, at any time because that's not specific enough to the event. And the other thing, too, is, is we eventually will get to a point with John B that she doesn't even do any kind of warm-ups like she did in the beginning. And she's not doing that much to begin with, but at some point, just like the Bulgarians did, they walked in, they put all this weight on their back, and they were immediately ready because they taught their body to be ready at a moment's notice. Body becomes its function, and that's exactly what that means. Here we go. One rep. Let's do it again. Game time. Come on. Here we go. Like butter, smooth, come on. Down and up. Up, get, get up. up, get up. There you go. Work. Good job. There you go. We got one more or two we more sets? We got one more. One more set. One more set and right, we'll go desk we go. up. What weight is this right now? This is 25. 225. Go ahead and add some more. Let's make her sweat this one out. See what you got. So, Jonathan, when you're... 235? When, when, yeah. Well, let me, I have a question for you. When you're wrestling in between, I, I'd like to give you to give a sense of the people. When you're wrestling, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about the next upcoming set? What's going on in your head? I mean, not everybody gets ready the same way. This is just, this is just coming from, like, how you do it. I'm just out of breath. Okay, but are, are you thinking about anything else but being out of breath? Are you just thinking um, about the next... No, sometimes I think of me doing the same way before, which okay. helps me. I pick okay. it up. Okay, sounds good. All right, we have one more set? One more set. All right. And this is what now? Two? This is one, one rep, last set. For what? How much, how much weight is this? This is 235. 235. All right. Here we go. Last set, best set. Then we're going to do a desk up. Let's go, John. Come on. Finish strong right here. Down and up. Here we go. Up, 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 up. up. Nice. There you go. Good job. Good job. Just like that. Nice. Okay, so that was the last uh, set of the single reps, okay? Normally, as I mentioned before, this would be like the 14th or 15th set around there. So what we do now is we've added a uh, sort of a, a special technique at the very end of the, uh, the, the, the smaller reps. It's called from the desk up. And all that means is we're doing now one set of 20 reps with a weight that's much lighter than that. And the idea about that and for that is that at the very end of her uh, single rep uh, and sets is to help increase her overall strength because here's what happens each time that she finishes her routine we do this from the desk up and for example the first time she did this she maybe did this with just one big plate okay she's now up to doing heavier uh, weight because we keep increasing it by like five or ten pounds so she's actually able to do at the very end of her heavy sets from the desk up in other words a set of 20 with more weight every time her her desk up uh, weight goes up, her top end, the reps that she's doing for very uh, short reps, they also go up. It's a way to keep pushing your body to get stronger, in other words. Okay, here we go. John, of you 20 reps. One here set. We go. Desk up. Down and up, down and up, just like every. Let's go. The idea here is to, to do as many repetitions before you stop. It's continuous. Come on. Here we go. Crank them out. Let's go. Down and up. Let's go. Let's go. Drive it. Go. Up tempo. Two. Do as many Come as on. you can without stopping. Three. Let's go. Four. Go. Five. One. Come on. Two. Come on. 
Three. Get stronger. Four. Come on, John V. Ten. Right now. One. Right now, mind. This is Two. where the mind's got to take Come over. On. Right now, mental. Three. Push it. Four. Come on. That's 15. Come Five on. more. Let's Five go. More. Never give in. Here we go. One. Go. Push. Two. Come on. Drive Three. it. Two more. Two more. More. Four. One more. One more. Up. 20. Good. Good. All right. Good job. Good job. Good stuff. So here's, here's, our, here's our strategy for training a power lifter is to um, emulate uh, her exercise according to what she's going to be doing at the event. Again, doing that one rep or very low reps um, for the event. And the other thing is repetition is the mother of skill. So in a normal uh, routine that she does, we push that that weight even higher because we actually want her to fail at her top weight. Her goal for this event is to do 255 pounds, which is amazing because she only weighs 114 pounds. She's going to win that event, but we train to win that event. So we take her and we put her at the that top weight, in other words, 255. She's failed several times before she can actually do that. Failing is a part of the winning strategy. If you want more information about this, click on that link below and go to my website. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.